Hey guys, do you remember a little thing called the Oya? Well, of course you should. Back in August, there was a massive fundraiser on, of course, Kickstarter. And since then, things have been just a little bit quiet. However, recently, Julie Ehrman, the Oya CEO, has been very happy to announce a few details on it. First of all, and probably most impressively, they've actually got the circuit boards actually printed, and they are... To say they're small is an understatement. They are absolutely tiny, um, as you guys can see on the screen now, compared to this can of Coke, or whatever the hell it is. I'm assuming that's Cola anyway. There's also mention that the ice cream sandwich is going to be ditched. Ice cream sandwich, of course, just for those of you who are not super familiar with tech, is a version of the Android operating system, but that's being ditched, and they're still going to be keeping with Android, but this time they're going to be using Jelly Bean. So a little bit more updated, which of course will allow a few more features. More to the point, they are not only is the console going to be very small, but it's also going to be very power efficient and also relatively cool running. One of the issues, of course, with engineering smaller devices is, generally speaking, you have less room to dissipate heat. So, for example, as CPUs become smaller, um, it becomes a little bit more difficult because basically the surface of the CPU is actually just that little bit more tricky to, to get rid of the heat. That's one of the issues, for example, with Ivy Bridge at the moment. That's why it doesn't overclock um, quite in line. Well, that's, that's a completely different story. Anyway, more to the point. Uh, there's not been any more major announcements in terms of, let's say, Big developers staying with Oya. However, at the moment, I'm fairly confident the system's going to do fairly well, actually, um, for many reasons. For a, for a start, it's actually fairly powerful. We're still going to be looking at a quad-core processor, which, considering just how absolutely tiny this thing is, to actually have a quad-core on here is very impressive. Now, quite how you know it's going to perform in terms of say compared to the Xbox 720, uh, Xbox 360, that type of thing, is going to be interesting to say the least. But if the price point is going to stay similar to what it is, and I have no doubt to, that it will be, then let's just be honest, it's going to be very impressive. I mean, let's face it, it raised over 8.6 million compared to the minimal amount, which was $950,000. At the moment, I think many people are becoming a little bit perturbed actually on the whole gaming industry. We've got some massive developers um, that continue to release games that weren't quite as good as what I expected. For example, I was massively hyped about Resident Evil 6. I will be honest, I, I really just was going crazy over it. And then the reviews came in um, and my friends got it. And suddenly I just realised, you know what, I actually don't really care about this game too much. And I, you know, I'll eventually get it on PC when I can be bothered. Simply because I just feel that it became a little bit too uh, action-y. I just don't feel it really stuck to its roots. But I have to say that a lot of the smaller developers, or so-called indie developers, are producing some really good content right now. In fact, some of the best games that I've actually been reviewing on RGT are actually indie titles. The Oya itself will not only encourage people to mess around with the hardware and the software, and that, of course, means that there's going to be a lot of modding going available, and that means that there's going to be a lot of open-source games. And to be honest with you, as I've said, I think some of the best games actually out at the moment are by indie developers. You've got titles like Limbo and Deadlight and Amnesia and they're incredible games and more to the point some of those games do encourage modding. Now in my opinion I'm pretty sore about the fact that the modding community on PC is becoming less and less prevalent. One of the reasons for that of course is DLC and developers don't want you to mod. There are exceptions to the rule so for example Bethesda with let's say Skyrim. However and ironically enough, since they're so tied together now, it's software with Rage. Let's, let's just be honest, it took them an absolutely ridiculous amount of time to announce the toolset. And still the toolset's not been released yet. So we're still waiting for it. Although they do promise, of course, it's, it will be coming out soon rather than later. And let's be honest, id Software, one of the reasons that they are so big is because of the love from the PC community back in the day. 
Um, there were so many bedroom, you know, people in their bedrooms slaving away over the latest Doom level or, say, Quake. And some of those dudes actually went on to either join companies or found their own companies. That's just how it was. Anyway, I'm going on a bit of a nostalgia trip here. So anyway, uh, the console is going to be um, fairly, is going fairly well. So hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more of the Oya soon and it will be in a store near you. Hopefully it will be on your local game store and a reasonable alternative actually. I'm hoping it's not just going to be for the more hardcore among us. So in other words, you know, kind of how everyone, like the more hardcore people have say modified versions of the phone and even the more hardcore people have not only like a jailbroken phone or whatever but it's also modified to hell. Well I'm hoping that's not going to be the case with the way I'm hoping that you know your friend Tom down the road who doesn't really know that much about tech has the console he just hasn't bothered to mod it. I'm really hoping that's the case. Anyway as I've said this is all speculation but as I've said before in my videos this console does kind of excite me some. So anyway, hopefully you guys have found the video helpful. I will be seeing you guys around, so bye for now.